I'm Sabri Saran from the Mint's personal finance team and we are talking about money. There are only limited tax saving deductions available under the Income Tax Act and it is important that we make the most of it. But we might have some preconceived notion about tax saving which aren't exactly true. Let me help you bust 5 myths people fall for while planning their tax saving investments. Myth number 1. Tax planning is a financial year end process. The most common mistake that investors commit is to invest in tax saving instruments only towards the end of the financial year. Owing to the paucity of time, investors then end up making hurried decisions. It is advisable to not leave the tax planning process till the last minute and plan well in advance. For example, if you are choosing to invest in PPF, then do as early as possible in the financial year to maximize interest income. Myth number 2 is Life insurance is the best tax saving option. Many taxpayers consider life insurance to be their best bet for saving taxes and end up investing in multiple investment come insurance products. But by doing this, they end up compromising on the quantum of risk cover on their lives as well as what they earn, thereby putting financial future of their dependents at risk in case of an unfortunate event. People invest in endowment plans or ULIPs to save tax under Section 80C. But remember, insurance is protection from risk and can never be an investment. You are better off availing term life insurance which is cover against pure risk. Mixing insurance and investment is a bad way of saving tax. Look at other tax saving alternatives which offer higher returns post tax. Myth number 3 is all mutual funds give tax benefits. All your mutual fund investments that you do don't qualify for tax deductions. Only investments in equity linked savings schemes or ELSs qualify for tax deduction under Section 80C. However, do keep in mind that ELSs come with a lock-in period of 3 years which is also one of the shortest lock-in periods compared to other Section 80C investments. You can also invest in ELSs using the SIP facility. This will help you allocate smaller amounts every month rather than having to put in a lump sum. Myth number 4 is fixed deposits and bank interest are not taxable. FDs is one of the most favorite products of middle class Indian. However, the truth is that interest income earned from FD and post office savings account are taxed. Only the fire FD is eligible for tax exemption under section 80C. Another common myth is there is no need to pay tax on interest earned from a bank fixed deposit as the bank has already deducted tax at source. However, this is not true. There could be tax liabilities depending on your income earned. If your annual income is Rs 8 lakh and you earn 30,000 interest on the FD, the bank deducts 10% tax at source which is Rs 3,000. You fall in the higher tax bracket of 20%, you must pay an additional Rs 3,000 each year. Also, the interest that you receive from a savings account is taxable under the head income from other sources. There is a tax deduction of up to Rs 10,000 under Section 80 TTA on such interest income. However, if the interest earned is beyond 10,000, it will be taxable. This deduction for senior citizen is up to Rs 50,000 under Section 80 TTB. The last myth, that is the myth number 5, is invest in anything as long as it saves tax. When you leave your tax planning to last minute, one mistake that people end up doing is buying any product in the market as long as it helps you save tax. Many times investors view products as standalone tax saving investments and do not consider how they fit in their overall portfolio requirement or asset allocation. Given that there are a plethora of products available, investors should evaluate product features in detail such as capital protection, risk versus return, lock-in period and so on and not just the tax saving aspect. As the financial year nears an end, make your tax saving investments carefully if you haven't already done so. In any case, don't wait till 31 March to make your tax saving investments. That's all from us on this episode of Why Not Mint Money. Thank you for watching.